When we talk about thermodynamic processes, we can section them off two ways, reversible and irreversible. Reversible thermodynamic processes are exactly what they sound like. They can be reversed back to their initial state after going through a change. The problem with this is that it almost never happens in real life. If I knocked this marker over, it wouldn't be able to magically happen backwards with everything back in the same exact place as it was before. Or could it? Anyways, that's why reversible processes are theoretical and ideal. After a thermodynamic process occurs, changing a variable such as temperature, pressure, or another state function to get a system from an initial state to a final state, then the reverse of this would get it exactly to where it was before with no change in the universe. On the other hand, irreversible processes are what occur more naturally, and they can't rewind to their original states. It's like the marker being knocked over, or water flowing from one side of a U-shaped tube into another until both sides are balanced out. During an irreversible process, the entropy of the system increases. And I do have a couple of other videos on entropy if you want to check those out, but just as a refresher, entropy is basically disorder. In these two processes, the disorder of the universe increases as the system goes from a state of order to a more natural, low-energy state. 